abuse is a subject matter that has been discussed at length and breadth in our society. But it's still wrong in our society. One may ask, why are people still being abused? Hi, I'm Elsie, and welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about an overview of the abuse series that I intend to share with you. I invite you to like my videos, subscribe to my channel, press on the bell for notification. All right. A large number of people that are being abused do not even know that they are going through such a difficult situation. Most of the times, their perception of what is going on around them is different and they are not able to interpret it as an unhealthy relationship or an unhealthy environment which is dangerous to their health. People that have been abused are vulnerable children and adults. The abusee, on the other hand, takes advantage of this vulnerable person and makes out that this cruel behavior towards them. Mostly, these people depend on the abusee for shelter, for money, for jobs, food, and some other basic necessities. One may ask, where are this abuse? Where does it happen? Abuse happens between close relations, whether by marriage, by blood, or by close acquaintances. So we come back to the question again. Why do people still be abused? I bring you four points that I think that is the reason why people are still being abused. One, society's perception of what an abuse is. Sometimes society's definition of, of an abusive relationship tries to confuse the victim and they don't even know whether what they are going through is right or wrong. Most of the times, the abusive relationship is explained as um, a right or responsibility or something that one has to go through like it is supposed to be the norm of the day. But in actual sense, it is an abuse. The second point is that most people are totally ignorant of the signs of abuse. Thirdly, thirdly, people are still being abused because there is no support system in our society for victims of abuse. So when people go through these toxic and difficult situations, there is nothing to help them to recover out from it so that people can also know that this is what is good or bad. Then lastly, stigmatization. Stigmatization of victims of abuse helps the cycle to continue. Because if I come out and share my abusive story, or I come out to report an abusee, and I am not being helped, then there's no need talking about it. Then the subject of abuse continues all over again. I have wonderful tips to share with you on this overview. In this series, I'm going to talk about physical abuse, emotional abuse, financial, financial abuse, and sexual abuse. The whole thing about child abuse and is a total embodiment of physical, sexual, emotional abuse. Watch out for my next video on the types of abuse. So I invite you to like my video, subscribe to it, press on the notification bell for more. See you in my next video.